Hi, in this video, I'll explain how SharePoint stores the daytime values internally and how we can easily find the right time zone and convert them within your SPFX components to show the correct daytime values for the end users. So here is my list, uh, which is called events, and I have uh, four columns in this list. The title uh, to store the title of the events, uh, start and end dates, which are of daytime uh, type of fields, and a short description. So this is a very simple use case where I want to develop an SPFX web part which shows the list of events with the appropriate start and end dates. Right. So here is my web part. Uh, this is very, uh, very straightforward. There is nothing complex here. So within my render, I'm using the UI fabric react cards to show a card uh, which has an icon, a title a description. And here I have start and end date. And within my component did mount, I'm calling a method called get news items. And here I'm using PNPJS to query the uh, list, which is called events. And I am fetching these four uh, fields or columns. So that's uh, pretty much straightforward. Uh, so it's already running. So let me go and see how it behaves in my workbench. So if I refresh uh, the workbench, I have already added the web part. So what happens usually is the date time field values within SharePoint are stored uh, in UTC format internally. And whenever uh, we query the list using the REST API or any other object model, the date field values are returned in UTC format. So that's what we see here. So if you see, this is the start date and this is the end date. But what we see in the list view is different. So this is based on the selected time zone. So let's try to understand how uh, SharePoint determines which time zone to be used while showing the date, right? So SharePoint internally has uh, regional settings within their sites, within each site. So I go to, uh, let me open site settings. So I go to view all site settings. So here, uh, every SharePoint site uh, will have something called as regional settings. And here we can select the time zone in which uh, the, the, the site will be used. So this time zone is what is used uh, to display the daytime values in any, any of the pages or front end, like your list views or any of the pages and all. Right. So that's the reason uh, I'm seeing a different uh, time in my events, which is not UTC. So there is another uh, important aspect here, which uh, most of the people try to uh, miss out, is there is another setting uh, where we can also change the uh, time zone. Uh, basically, every user can go and specify or choose a different time zone for themselves. Like, let's say if I go to my office profile and I can go and say that I want to use a different time zone and I, and I don't want to see the time zone set by the site administrator. So this can be edited by uh, going into your Delve and cl click on update profile here. And then we have a section to change the regional settings. So when I expand this and I click on uh, the option to edit, it actually takes me to my uh, old, uh, the classic UI of your my site profile. And here I can go and change, uh, click on the ellipsis. I can change language and region. So this is a uh, settings which is specific to each user. So as a user, I can say, always use my personal settings. And once I click on this option, the page refreshes and I, I can select my own time zone. So in the site, if it is set to uh, UTC plus 530, which is uh, Indian standard time, as a user, I can change it to Eastern time. So when I do this, what happens is uh, everywhere on that SharePoint site, uh, whenever I open any list view, the time zone used will be the Eastern time or whatever the user selects in their profile. So this will override the setting uh, which the administrators would have chosen in the regional settings of the site. So these are the two places where uh, the time zones can be changed. Uh, so as I've shown here, one is uh, by a user and the other is by the site administrators. So these are the two settings which will determine what time zone uh, has to be used or what time zone will be used while displaying the dates right and uh, one one uh, tip i would like to give here is uh, as soon as a user changes the time zone uh, from their profile settings here this will not immediately reflect uh, it will take uh, a couple of minutes around 15 20 minutes uh, for this change to be reflected so right now i will not uh, save this setting uh, so i'm just canceling and going back which means that the regional setting which is chosen by the administrators on the site uh, will be uh, in effect 
right so let me open my list again uh, so it's in demo site uh, lists events right so this is my list so uh, let me go and change the time zone uh, from the site settings so i go to site settings uh, so right now it is uh, i guess it's in utc plus 530 which is ist so let me change it to eastern time now so i'll change it to utc minus 5 uh, eastern time so the advantage uh, with the site uh, setting the regional setting on site is it will immediately reflect the changes so i go back to the events so if you see it was showing uh, 27th of july uh, 9 9 am i guess yeah 9 am is what it was showing but now it has gone back to uh, eastern time where it is 26th of july 11 30 pm so it immediately reflects here but now uh, what is the problem with the spfx web parts is irrespective of what time zone either the user has selected or it is on the site we always get the utc time uh, returned now how do we convert this utc time to the right time zone um, there are many examples or many web parts which what they usually do is they'll convert this utc to the local time zone which is the time zone within my browser or on my local system which may not be correct always so let's say an example um, on the site the region uh, like how you see now on the site the regional settings is chosen to be uh, of eastern time but my local time zone is ist so even if i try to convert this to uh, my local time zone it will not show me the correct date like what we see in the list views right so how do we uh, determine the correct time zone uh, so there are there are two ways so traditionally what used to happen is uh, like i explained there are two places where we can change the regional settings one is in the user profile and one is in the site uh, regional settings so to find the to find the right time zone we'll have to make at least two rest calls to find what is the regional setting chosen by the current user and what is it uh, the time zone selected in the site and based on that we'll know what time zone we have to use and we can appropriately convert the date instead of doing that there is a much simpler way to do it um, so the rest apis uh, every list item has a property called uh, field values as text so we can expand this property uh, so this is how i do it using my pnpjs query so this is called field values as text and this will provide this this property has again the entire collection of all the fields what the list item has so i'll try to use uh, i'll also try to return those those items uh, from the expanded query so i'll say field values as text slash start date i'll also try to get the same for end date okay so now my query returns uh, two extra values so the start date uh, this will always have the UTC so if I want to process it for something else I can always uh, use the start date in UTC format using this uh, column or this field in the response JSON and I can use uh, field values as text dot start date this will give the correct time value after converting it into the correct time zone so let's quickly also change it in the render method so instead of item dot start date I'll now use uh, field values the, uh, the start date from the field values as text property I'll do the same for the end date as well so let me quickly save this and the build happens automatically so the build is completed now uh, i'll go back uh, to my workbench and if i refresh the page now i should see the correct time zones or the correct value for the date time whatever is there on my side so if you see it is uh, showing the same thing so 11 30 pm 26th uh, july that's what is there uh, for my start date so if i quickly uh, go to the uh, regional settings of the site and change it again to IST that should also be ref reflected in my SPFX web part. So I go to regional settings and change this to UDC plus 530. So I click on OK. So this should bring back the dates to 27th July 9 a.m. Right. 
so that's how we can easily uh, display the correct date time values uh, based on the users and sites uh, regional settings and time zone hope this video is useful uh, thank you for watching please like this video and subscribe to my channel see you again